what you're aiming to do is it, it, it's easy down here. You're in a sort of, there's not much demand on the rotator cuff when you're down in this position. But if you try and go out here, this is way harder demand for here. It involves you controlling the shoulder and controlling the elbow a lot more. So there's more rotator cuff stability options going on here. Plus this one, you'll find you'll use way more upper trap. Okay, so you've got to be careful that it doesn't really ride up. You're naturally going to use more upper trap with this. And then you've got to keep this back here, almost like pinch their skin and say, this has got to stay back until the, you finish those again. And then you can let it go into a scap row again. Arm, shoulder, shoulder blade, arm. Shoulder arm, shoulder blade, blade yeah. yeah. And it's the same as the press as well. So making sure, remember this part here, bang, one movement, two movements. When the load goes on, they get good at it. It'll be one blended movement. But for teaching purposes and working out, making sure they don't go there and when they pull through, they don't pop like that. Yep. You try and break it down into two movements for learning, knowing that over time they'll just end up doing one blended movement. Yep. Okay? Because strictly when you do pull, it's, they all move together. It's not like one stabilizes and one moves. But to try and get them working on the right muscle groups, you break it down. But that's, that's the movement. And it's a very functional movement to, come, to pull a row up here. This is a sort of archer row. Okay, so for some people, this is, they will need the strength up here. They've just got to make sure they're not sort of doing funky things with their elbow. Okay, so it's about controlling and keeping that in the right position, not coming in, keeping it wide. So it's just a lot harder to mark. Something I'd progress to and making sure they get this sort of movement here before they think about going above head and doing a pull down. When you get to this point here, it's a lot more demand through here. The shearing force is out here, so because the arm is wider, there's more load here in the joint, physically, okay, than being way down here. That's easy, okay. Now you've got all this rotator cuff, holding that ball and socket together, okay. So this, the advance of this is more rotator cuff work. Plus, they'll end up, you'll feel that trap working harder now. Yeah.